This is The Orup. I am Vanessa James. Here are the stories making headlines today. Head of the Manchester Police, Superintendent Lloyd Darby, confirmed that a bomb dating back to World War II was found on newly closed in Mandeville on Tuesday. The bomb, which was buried, was found during excavation work by a construction crew while excavating a fish pond. Darby said the police was called to the construction site around 1 p.m. following the discovery and the Jamaica Defense Force and Bomb Unit were called in as well. The bomb was reportedly safely detonated in Carandon. In other news, police on Wednesday morning killed four alleged gunmen in Central Village St. Catherine. It is understood that three illegal firearms were seized by the cops following the incident. Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, the commanding officer for the St. Catherine South Police Division, confirmed the incident with ORAP. SSP Phillips said police encountered several gunmen during an operation in the community. He said following an exchange of gunfire, the four were killed and the guns subsequently found. Former People's National Party President and Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller was granted an application to be excluded from giving evidence in the Trafigura hearing. The decision was handed down by High Court Judge Stephanie Jackson Hazley. Queen's Counsel K.D. Knight, the attorney representing Simpson Miller, filed an application to have his client excused from the case due to medical reasons. In October 2006, opposition leader Bruce Golding dropped a bombshell in Parliament when he revealed that Trafigura, the firm which traded oil for Jamaica on the international market, had donated $31 million to an account operated by Colin Campbell. In 2011, the Supreme Court ruled that Simpson Miller, as well as Philip Powell, Robert Pickersgill, Colin Campbell, and Norton Hines testify in open court about the donation. In international news, the first person to receive a heart transplant from a pig has died two months after the groundbreaking experiment the Maryland hospital that performed the surgery announced on Wednesday. David Bennett, 57, died Tuesday at the University of Maryland Medical Center. Doctors didn't give an exact cause of death, saying only that his condition had begun deteriorating several days earlier. Bennett's son praised the hospital for offering the last-ditch experiment, saying the family hoped it would have helped further efforts to end the organ shortage. This has been The Orap. Catch up with these and other stories on JamaicaObserver.com. I am Vanessa J.